Mr. von Weizsäcker, in the latest report to the Club of Rome, the authors described the scarcity of mineral resources as a serious threat to prosperity and the economic system. Meanwhile, it seems, politicians are concentrating their efforts on the banking crisis and government debt. Given the fundamental way the world is changing, isn't this precisely the time we need decisive political action by the international community to ensure the situation can be turned around for the better? What might such action look like? Well, let me say a few words first about this report to the Club of Rome, Plundering the Earth, by Professor Ugo Bardi from Italy. He looks at the mineral resources and shows that the high concentration metals or ores are more or less eaten up by early mining. And now we arrive at the stage where we have very thinly spread minerals and therefore have a huge energy input and a lot of local pollution. We definitely have to become a lot more efficient in the use of those minerals. And that means much higher recycling rates and policies to make that profitable. For instance, by obligatory recycling laws, as we have them in Japan, in Germany and many other countries. Okay, that's politics, of course. Now, unfortunately, today, politics in most countries is very short-lived and uh, people don't think long-term. So if the public opinion turns more long-term and forces politicians to look into the future, also the future of our children and grandchildren, then I believe we are in a better, in a better stage. That, however, requires a lot of rethinking at the level of the scientific community, including the Club of Rome, at the level of engineering uh, offices and companies, at the investors uh, community. So it's a whole bunch of changes that we are uh, heading for. Don't business and science have to make a contribution and find solutions to help us, for example, use resources more efficiently? What innovation could help us position us on the right side of change? Well, at the International Resource Panel of the United Nations Environment Programme, we had a report uh, coordinated by Professor Thomas Gradle from Yale University on the recycling rates of metals. And the specialty metals, it turns out, have very, very low recycling rates in the vicinity of 1% meaning 99% are wasted. So this has to be improved and a new report coordinated by Professor Markus Reuter of Autotech in Finland. Um, we look at recycling opportunities and infrastructures, making it possible, starting from the design of products, so that later it's easier to recover the metals. And that is something that should be the normal thing in industry and investors should throw money into this kind of operation instead of the wasteful one. So I believe the investors community has also a very high responsibility of improving what is now very bad.